days of rain brought the frustrations of this community to a head, and they say they're going to do something about it. We showed you how roads flooded in the rain last week, and you can see there's still some leftovers in Buckingham Park. Well, today the community is telling us that this could have all been prevented, and they're going to do something about it, and they want something done. Hello, I'm Russ McCaskey. I'm Amanda Hall. Thanks for staying with us. Tonight, the neighborhood called a meeting saying if they don't do something now, it's going to get worse. Wink News anchor Claire Gold is live from Centennial Road. Claire, what are they hoping comes of this meeting? Yeah, Amanda, neighbors want to make a plan to get the county to take action to make sure that this does not happen again. Water sitting around for days. Now I'm here at the intersection of Centennial Boulevard and uh, Buckingham Road, and you can see all of this water here. This is still left behind from all of that rain last week, and it is only the beginning of yards filled with water that I found as I drove down Centennial Boulevard today. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping, but the water is still sitting in yard after yard after yard along Centennial Boulevard in Buckingham. Mercedes San Ramon told me it happens every time it rains. The water tends to stay right there. And boy, oh boy, did it rain last week. A foot here in Buckingham. And when it rains, it floods. It was something we've never seen. We've been here for about a year. San Ramon took this video of a man pushing his car down her flooded street. And this one of the water rising in her backyard. There was water all the way down to the stop sign and then that way there was more water and there was cars being stuck like people were turning around in our driveway I couldn't even get out and I, I was scared to get out with the kids four days later you still need rain boots to walk through the grass I don't see anything going down the drain or anything they should be cleaned out San Ramon is not the only neighbor who wants Lee County to pay these ditches a visit this flyer posted in neighborhood and Facebook groups invites neighbors to come to the Buckingham Park Pavilion Monday evening it says, quote, we as a community need to address this now and be heard by the county in order to prevent future issues. Derek Felder told me he'll be there. I feel like we need to take things into our own hands. Felder lives in Lehigh. He asked me to meet him at the intersection of Williams Road and Village Lakes Boulevard so he could show me this. This is one of the county maintained culverts. Um, this one here looks to be you know, barely 25% open and that causes, causes flooding. You know, Williams Avenue here was flooded three quarters of the road. Felder and San Ramon told me they got lucky this time around. Their homes, their belongings, their families are okay, but they worry. What if their streets flood again? What if there's a bigger storm? When a hurricane comes, we get substantial rain in, in a short amount of time, and that's when the flooding happens. You know, it creates dangerous situations. I did ask Lee County about those neighbors' concerns. A spokesperson sent me a statement saying that these ditches are designed to hold rain for some time after it does flood heavily like it did last week, and that it may take a bit of time for them to drain. The county also asked that neighbors report any blocked ditches or drains like these. I'll have a link to do that with this story on winknews.com, our website. In the meantime, those neighbors are meeting at 730 at Buckingham Park, and Wink News will be there. I'm live in Buckingham. Claire Galt, Wink News.